today's EMN5, we're going to talk about ophthalmic medications, specifically topical ones. Now, there's a lot of different kind of medications we can apply to the eye, and there was actually this coding system developed that color codes the different medication classes, so that it's just a little bit safer to apply these medications. So we're going to go through each of these uh, color schemes and then talk about a couple of the ones that we use most commonly. So the first one we'll talk about is the white or clear caps. These are the topical anesthetics, and we use these all the time in the ER. This helps us do a good exam for a patient that has a lot of eye pain. We use it for doing the Tonopen exam to get intraocular pressure. It's good pain relief while they're in the ER, and we can also use it for foreign body removal. This is not something we prescribe, though. It's just for use in the ER. So there's two classes, the esters and the amides. Probably the one that we have the most commonly in the ER that we use all the time is tetracaine. Um, it is a little more irritating. You always have to tell the patients that it's going to burn just for about 5 to 10 seconds before it feels better. But it does last up to 30 minutes, which allows you to do a full exam. Next up is the red caps. So these are the mydriatics and the cycloplegics. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what these do. Basically, it's going to dilate the eye. That's how you can remember these. The red caps dilate the eye. So first, let's talk about the mydriatics. So these are sympathomimetics. It's going to paralyze the iris sphincter, which causes the eye to dilate. Um, one of the common ones that we use is phenylephrine, which lasts about three to four hours. Now, the thing with these is we might not actually use them in the ER too often. These are more for diagnostic use, so we use them a lot in the clinic. The ones we're going to be using and prescribing in the ER are more the cycloplegics. So these are parasympathetic. They're going to paralyze the iris sphincter, so that causes the mydriasis. And then they're also going to cause cycloplegia through paralyzing the ciliary muscle. The reason we use these a lot are because they're therapeutic. We use this a lot in iritis, uveitis, where they're having that ciliary spasm every time light hits their eye. They have severe photophobia. Their eye is very painful. Um, we can also use it in corneal abrasions a little bit, but this is a good medication to be prescribing someone who has a uveitis or iritis. So again, they come in these red tops. The cycloplegics, these are a couple. There's the shorter acting and the longer acting. We're going to be, for the most part, using the shorter acting ones in the ER. You can see the long acting ones are up to a couple weeks weeks. That's not really something we're going to be using. So I would say the top one I uh, use is the cyclopentylate. goes on for about a day and it costs around $30. The home atropine is a little cheaper, around $15, and that's for the generic. I'm just listing the dollar amounts here because some of these can be very expensive and you have to be a little careful when prescribing them that your patients are actually going to be able to fill the prescriptions. All right, now let's talk about the meiotics. So these are going to be the green caps. There's really only one use I'm thinking that we'll really see using it in the ER, and that's treatment for acute angle closure glaucoma. And your main one here you're going to use is the pilocarpine, 2%. So just as a quick review, it's going to constrict the pupil. Uh, the iris is going to pull over into the center, and that's going to open up this angle here, allowing in the Schlem's canal and allow the aqueous humor to drain. Okay, next up is the tan caps. These are the anti-infectives. And one quick mention here is that you have the option when prescribing to either uh, prescribe drops or ointments. As far as the drops, you tend to have to administer these more frequently throughout the day, every couple hours, because they're absorbed more quickly. So that's one drawback. Um, but the positive is that there's a little bit less blurred vision. They don't coat the eye as much as ointment does. So it might be a little bit better for, say, an adult to use. Ointments last a little longer, so that you don't have to apply them as frequently. Sometimes they can be pretty useful in kids or infants, who so it's going to be hard to get the drops into the eye because you just pull the eyelid down a little bit, smear it on the lower lid, as you can see in this lower picture, and then when the kid blinks, basically spreads the ointment around, and again, it lasts a little longer. So here's different options for your antibiotics. For your basic antibiotic for bacterial conjunctivitis or corneal abrasion, I think any of these top three are pretty good. As long as you prescribe the generic, they're all pretty cheap. Uh, they're on the $5 range. Erythromycin is probably the one I use most commonly. And then if you have someone who wears contacts and you need to prescribe an anti-pseudomonal, these can get really expensive, so be careful about what you're prescribing. The ofloxacin and gentamicin are the cheapest as long as you prescribe the generic. What about antivirals? Do so you have someone who comes in with herpetic conjunctivitis? What are we going to be prescribing? Mm -hmm. Well, here's one of these little warning things. This would really only be prescribed by Octo because you really want these patients to go see ophthalmology right away and then they'll be helping to prescribe the antivirals. And another one that comes in this category is our pink tops or pink bottles. And these are the steroids. Okay, here's just a couple others. This is the color-coded policy paper that I was telling you about. So, for example, beta blockers that we use for acute angle closure glaucoma, those come in yellow. Uh, purple tops are the adrenergic agonists, also for acute angle closure glaucoma, and same thing for the carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. So three to remember for these medications. Tetracaine, which is the white, 
tops, those you're going to be using really frequently. Make sure you get those out right away for patients in the ER to provide some pain relief. Remember your red tops for the mydriatics for traumatic iritis and uveitis. Cyclopentylate's a good one to use. It can really help provide some pain control for the severe photophobia that they get. And lastly, in the opto only group, remember you have steroids and also sometimes antivirals. Here's some references, and thanks for joining us on EMN5.